going on guys? It's Brandon with River City Records. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is going to be the first installment of hopefully many Logic Pro X tutorials to come out in the near future. For this first video we're going to be talking about EQing, but before we jump in, let's do a short definition of what EQing is. Essentially it's cutting and boosting frequencies to enhance the overall sound and quality of the track that you're going to be working on. So today we got a vocal by my boy The Native. He did a remix to the song Madonna by Drake. I'm going to go ahead and play it with the instrumental and then I'll solo it out and then we'll talk about some of the problematic frequencies that we hear. So here it is with the instrumental. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. Then we're gonna hide and solo it out. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. So right away, what sticks out to me is there's quite a bit of low end to it. It's got kind of a boxy sound because we didn't record this in the most ideal place. And then it's also lacking some presence up in the 5K, 10K range. The first thing I like to work on is those low ends. I'm going to be using the Waves HEQ today, but any channel strip EQ will work. Logic Stockman works just fine. The first step in getting rid of those um, low ends is to enable the high pass filter on the Waves. You click this. And on the, channel, uh, the Logic Stock one, you click this guy right here. And then with this first cut, I like to over-exaggerate it quite a bit and then kind of bring it back to a more natural sounding feel. Um, then I also like to close my eyes to ensure that I'm mixing with my ears and not my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this low end cut for you and then we'll talk about some of the other frequencies. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. And when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. Remember who you used to share Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she... Man, that sounded pretty good to me right there. With some of these low-end frequencies, it's kind of more of a sound that you can feel rather than hear. Um, but by cutting them, you're going to ensure that later on in the mix, uh, it's not going to be muddied up by these low-end um, vocal frequencies. And then to show you what I mean, I actually made another EQ, and I did the opposite. I cut all the high-end but left these low-ends in. And let's say you're not having one vocal playing at once. You might have two or three playing at one time with these low-ends in it you might get a sound that sounds something like this that will um, muddy up the mix. Let me enable this one. All right, so you might not end up with something like this. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit. And that's just adding muddiness to the mix, sound that's not needed to be there, and it's taking up stereo space. And now let's talk about that boxy sound. That boxy sound usually lives um, between the 200 to 500 hertz range. With these type of cuts, I like to um, over exaggerate the gain and sweep back and forth and then just cut any frequency that doesn't sound natural or doesn't fit in the mix. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to boost it way up, sweep back and forth, and then cut any frequency that uh, sticks out to me. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. And when you at them clubs looking foolish. And for this vocal, it seems to be that it's uh, that boxy sound is going to be coming from more towards the 500 hertz range. Actually, right here, I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple dBs. So I'm going to play the vocal and then gradually cut at this uh, particular frequency. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. And when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. Remember who you used to shake. And just those two little steps make quite a bit of difference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a before and after of just those two, the low end and the, um, the boxy sound EQing. Um, you might, it might be, if you're new to this, it might be more subtle to you, but I promise the more that you do it, uh, you'll become more accustomed to hearing these small changes in the frequencies. So I'm going to go ahead and play it with the EQ on and then about halfway through I'll turn it off. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. Already you can tell a pretty big difference. There's also, it seems to be a frequency right here that might be sticking out to me. I'm going to go ahead and boost right there and then do the same thing. Uh, sweep back and forth in the small little area, then cut anything that doesn't sound good. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool list. And when you wet a little bit of boxy sound right there, so I'm going to cut a couple dBs right there. 
Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool. That sounds pretty good right there. And then also that, um, we're going to talk about that high end now, which is up in the 5k, 10k region. It really gives life to the vocals. Uh, let's see here. We're going to boost that up. Same thing. We're going to boost it up, sweep back and forth. And then um, instead of cutting this time, we're going to boost in this area. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service with a pool is. And when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. Remember who you used to shake. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound. And that frequency sounds, pr frequency sounds pretty good right there. I'm not going to boost it that much. With these high ends, you got to be pretty careful because, as you can tell by me boosting it, it also brings out the sibilance, which is that painful S sound. Um, you can get rid of that with a simple de but I'll talk about that in a later tutorial. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service where the pool is. And when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. Yeah, and that sounded pretty good to me. Um, if I was actually doing this in a normal session and it wasn't for the purpose of this tutorial, I wouldn't be boosting and um, cutting in the same EQ. I would do reductive EQ first. Um, on my vocal chain and then I would add a compressor and then I'd do additive EQing but for the sake of this tutorial I'm doing it all in this one EQ so now I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, a before and after of the finished vocal EQed and then about halfway through I'll turn it off bitch really had her chance fucked around on a hound and she blew it now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big got some service where the pool is and when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. Remember who you used to shake. And then uh, that just brings out, it's just a more poppy vocal in the end. I'm going to go ahead and it pops out in the mix more. Now I'm going to turn the instrumental on and do the same thing. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service where the pool is. And when you at them clubs looking foolish, remember who you used to go to school with. And I actually think I might add... A little bit more high end to this. Let's see how that sounds. Bitch really had her chance, fucked around on a hound and she blew it. Now I'm rolling around town in some coop shit hotel so big, got some service where the pool is. And when you at them clubs look. Yeah, that sounded pretty good to me right there. Um, so that's how I go about EQing vocals. Um, if you guys liked it, um, go, be, be sure to share it, subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that good stuff. I'm going to put the link in the description for this song um, and our website also. But, yeah, that's how I would go about mixing this particular vocal. Each vocal is going to be different, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, I promise. You'll be able to hear the frequencies easier. And EQing really does make a huge difference in, um, in how the overall mix sounds. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay in touch.